the very beginning, I felt nothing but doom. I didn't think I was going to survive this. If you ever try to do a puzzle when you don't know the picture, it's impossible to put it together. It was awful. I couldn't even read the statistics of my own diagnosis. When you have a 10,000 piece puzzle, when you start in the beginning, it's very hard. I always felt Dr. Sinicki had the whole picture. But he knew what he was looking for. A couple of the missing pieces was Dr. Janicki combined our dendritic cell-based therapy with another kind of drug, and that was something which helped increase the efficacy of the immunotherapy. Once you get a part of the puzzle form, it starts to get easier to match up stuff, because then you got multiple angles that you can try to do, and that's kind of what happens with this. The second missing component was we began introducing the dendritic cells directly into the tumors. The dendritic cells called in many, many, many different other types of immune system cells. It is not just a drug that kills cells, it's programmed. It's using your immune system to program it, to be able to selectively kill cells. When you compare patients who are on a chemotherapy regimen versus an immunotherapy regimen, the symptoms and just the quality of life is so different. We really want to show a lot of respect to the people that work in the lab. What they're doing is a big piece of the puzzle. There's so many different factors in breast cancer as far as the tumor type, what those tumor cells express. Now we have at least a quarter of the puzzle done. Now you got a much bigger square to start fitting pieces in. I got the vaccine in 2007, and here I am 20 years later doing fine. I used to think that I wouldn't be able to watch my kids grow up that I wouldn't be able to see my oldest start kindergarten. And now that doesn't feel real. I feel like I have my life back, like I'm still able to look forward to the future. I just celebrated my daughter's bridal shower. I'm very blessed that I'm here to be able to help her plan her wedding. I'm just so thankful. It's always somewhat difficult to guess what the next pieces are. Brian is working on a couple of other ideas these are additional signals that can be supplied to the dendritic cells that will call in completely different classes of immune system cells. There's a type of cell that's called natural killer T cell, and there are other cells that are just called natural killer cells. Brian has found a way to attract both of these cell types to the area of disease to enhance the efficacy of the immunotherapy. We're not only focusing on curing cancer, but we're also focusing on improving the quality of life of a cancer patient, supporting their bodies to fight this disease. Today, we have a lot of the research done for this puzzle that we're putting together. We need the funds to push this forward for a phase two and phase three trial. Once we've got it tackled for breast cancer, it shouldn't take more than a few additional years with steady and generous funding to knock off one or two other types of cancer. One of the missing pieces is just the ability to fund more and more of this research and to just not stop now that we have it in clinic and working really well. The sky's the limit in terms of other cancers that we can go after, lung cancer, prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, gastric cancer, esophageal cancer, and maybe even things that are really difficult to treat like pancreatic cancer. I am here because of Penny's in Action and Dr. Zernicki's research. I really, really hope that this research reaches every woman possible that ever experiences this so they never have to feel like they may miss something out in the future with their kids or their family or for themselves. Every cancer patient affects at least five people. And the lives of these five people are affected forever. These kids that are without a mom or without a dad, without a grandma, you know, without a brother or sister, we have to stop this and not kind of, you know, just kind of go over it. This is horrible. Our mission is to remove the threat of cancer and keep families together. Let's get this done. We can solve this.